Hey, this is Tuxedo Mark, and welcome to another episode of Vlogtron, a Voltron vlog. I'm reviewing episode 45, Princess, um, One Princess to Another. Uh, but before I get into that, I want to address the... The sound mix of the previous episode, uh... Voltron versus Voltron. Uh, I first noticed something was off during the uh, opening theme. Uh, the music and the sound effects were way too loud, like way louder than normal, and they drowned out Peter Cullen's narration. Uh, specifically the word horrible, it's almost completely unintelligible. Um, because just the, the music and the sound effects were all thrown way out of whack. And I did notice some issues in the episode itself where the, where the music and sound effects were a bit too loud. But it was definitely evident in the theme song. It's back to normal in this episode, so I don't know what was up with that. Also, there was, uh, no robotic voice at the end of the theme saying Voltron Defender of the Universe. So that line was missing. Really weird. Um, but anyway, as for this episode, despite the title, okay, you would think it would be about like Allura and Ramel teaming up or something, but no. Um, Sven, it focuses on Sven. Rommel goes with him because some mission, like, uh, Planet of Doom's creating, like, 500 rope beasts of their best fighters and, like, souping them up on some kind of satellite with some kind of whatever to make them into super rope beasts to, like, conquer Planet Eris and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, so they go there to try to stop them. Sven disguises himself as a row beast just by putting on some costume or something. And sneaks aboard the transport to the satellite. Um, Ramel, I think, yeah, she contacts, or maybe Sven does, I don't remember, uh, contacts uh, Planet Eris to let the... Voltron Force no, and the Voltron Force mostly sit around for a good portion of the episode. Uh, when Sven announces his success in destroying a bunch of stuff or whatever, uh, Keith decides the Voltron Force is going to take it from there. They launch, they go, and form Voltron, there's this... They, uh, like, destroy the satellite or the asteroid or whatever it's on, and, um, pretty basic stuff. Uh, there's this weird thing where, like, there's suddenly, like, a relationship between Sven and Ramal, it seems. And kind of flirty, I guess. Or it's kind of hinting at something. But then she runs away from him at the end of the episode when she's worried about him. He shows up, kind of scares her, but it's him. He's all right. But then she's like, <laughs> and she like sticks out her tongue at him and runs away. I, I don't know, but um, Sven makes some speech about how someday like Alora and Ramel are going to, like, they're going to cooperate and stuff like that. And then we see Alora as she, as she has, like, a speech. I don't know if she has, if it's a speech or if she's just thinking it. And we see Ramel and basically Alora's saying someday they're going to team up to free the slaves on Planet Doom with the help of Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Uh, um... That's basically it. That, that's the whole 
one princess to another thing. Just a just Allura's little speech at the end of the episode. Allura and Rommel never even meet in this episode. Um, they might have communicated off the radio a bit, maybe. But yeah, very misleading title. Um, the close to credits are the nearly full length version, but it removes the shots of the team in the uniform on the ground. And that's it. I mean, we got seven episodes left. doesn't really look like they're building to a big finale. I mean, that little hint that Laura and Ramel are going to team up to free the people on Planet Doom. I mean, that could figure into the finale. But as it is right now... Uh... Another weird thing is Allura, not Allura, um, Ramel dresses a lot different than other people on Planet Pollux. She dresses like a princess, she's got like normal clothes and everything, but all of the other people, including her brother, the shrimpy prince, they dress in togas like they're Romans or something. I don't get it. But anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.